Uh, good evening. At this time, we'll begin the Baraklisi service to St. Xenia of St. Petersburg, and you can follow along in our service books. <clears throat> Blessed is our God, always now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, present in all places and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, a good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Him, Christ the King and our God. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and thy truth, hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And enter not in judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those who have long been dead and my spirit within me has become despondent, within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I ponder on the creatures of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirsts after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from an enemy, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness, for the name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In the righteous shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in the mercy shall thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them and afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. <laughs> God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. We give thanks unto the Lord and call upon his holy name. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. All the nations compass me round about and by the name of the Lord. I, did, I warded, my, the, warded them off. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. This is the Lord's doing and it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Come, all ye people, let us glorify Xenia, our joy and boast, and the rejoicing of angels. For she doth dwell with Christ God in the realms on high. There now she doth intercede for us passion-filled sinners, that we may escape the snares of our foe, wicked Satan, by taking great heed to the Lord's commands which shall enlighten our souls by his grace divine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
O Theotokos, we shall never be silent. Of your mighty acts, all we the unworthy, had you not stood to intercede for us, who would have delivered us from the numerous perils, who would have preserved us all until now with our freedom. O Lady, we shall not depart from you, for you always save your servants from all tribulation. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin, for I know mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth and hidden the secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto thee. Thou, hast, thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me, make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that be humbled, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness, O Lord. Thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou didst desire sacrifice, I had given it with whole burnt offerings. Thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humbled, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be builded. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they build, then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. No, no. O Saint of God, intercede we on our behalf. To godly wise send you the fool for Christ, the marvel of angels. <coughs> And true joy of the Christian race, we chant hymns and praise and sought in thanksgiving for, he, for her great loving affection shown unto us. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. The angels in heaven receive thy soul, O God-loving Senya, with rejoicing at thy repose. And we here on earth now call thee blessed, acclaiming all of thy struggles for Christ the Lord. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May whoever knew me pray for my soul, that his soul by Christ God may be saved, as thou say, O saint. Hence we who have known thee in the Spirit, Bow down to thee for thy God-like humility. For now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. To thee, O pure virgin, I run with faith. Deliver my pure soul, which is seized in the grip of sin, and bring it to freedom through repentance. By thy strong prayers to our Savior, O blameless one. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. When thy, dear, when thy dear husband Andrew had met his end suddenly, then, O blessed Senya, thy pure soul began to seek the Lord with groans and heartfelt tears, since Christ the Savior consoled thee and called thee to struggle for his sake and foolishness. O saint of God, intercede on our behalf with the death of thy husband, there died in thee the old man, for its cares and longings and vain love by grace had been replaced with love for Christ our God. Thus teach us also, Oxenia, to live for the Savior and look for the age to come. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, by the name of the first called, from Galilee thou wast called, 
As thou didst remain true, Oksa and Yah, to Christ who called thee forth from vain and fleeting things to those both sure and eternal, which things thou dost seize by much force with a manly mind. For now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. I have thee as my haven, in storms of life shelter me. O pure Theotokos and Virgin, and save my lowly soul, for thou canst do all things through Christ our loving Creator, who came down from heaven to rescue the race of man. Preserve and save, O blessed Son, your thy lowly servants who with hymns now honor thee on this thy joyous feast. For thou hast found great boldness with Christ God our Savior. In thy good will, look thou on me, O him Theotokos, and do thou behold my body's grievous infirmities, and heal thou the cause of my soul's sorrow. Have mercy on us, O God, according to the great mercy we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for Archbishop and Father Savas and for all of our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians, who dwell and sojourn in the city, the parishioners and benefactors of this holy temple, and all that serve, chan, labor, and gather herein for the servants of God, Cassia, Ni, Jessica, Mark, and Sarah, Fotios, Nathina, Evan, Christina, Theodore, Connor, Peter, and Stephen, for all those here present and for all those who have asked us to pray for them. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For a merciful man, your friend in God, art thou, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Xenia, thy grief and sorrow at thy husband's death were a means by which God then drew thee to himself instead. Hence thy tears renew thy pure soul, which sought out the Lord, thy bridegroom Christ, with whom now intercede for us, since thou hast found boldness with our King on high. Na, na. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, Paying heed to the Savior's words, thou didst give away thy possessions to the poor, and didst follow Christ, O righteous one, taking up thine own cross as our Lord commands. O saint of God, intercede on our behalf. Like a treasure hid in a field, so doth Christ the Savior abide in thy pure soul. Hence thou shinest forth with grace divine on the churches faithful who pray unto thee. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Many marveled at thy great change, for thy transformation was sudden and complete. Hence from Petersburg didst thy de thou depart, led forth by the Spirit to serve Christ the Lord. For now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. We the faithful now call thee blessed, O pure Theotokos, thou light of all the world. For the Savior Christ shone forth from thee in the wondrous manner most ineffable. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Having been prepared by the Savior after many years, thou didst return, O Saint, to Petersburg, where by the Spirit of the Lord thou wast a fool for Christ. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Andrew was the name 
Thou didst call thyself a righteous one, and as a soldier thou didst serve the Lord. In the attire of thy husband, whom for, for whom thou didst pray. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To the poorest poor, wast thou sent by Christ, O patient one. Hands come to us who glorify thy name. O blessed Senor, for our souls are truly poor in grace. For now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Help me, O pure one, for with faith and love I run to thee, our mighty fortress, sure, impregnable, our shield and rampart, and our weapon which shall slay the foe. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Matthias, the great apostle of the Lord, aided thee, O wondrous one, in thy struggles. For thou didst pray day and night in his temple, where thou wast nourished by Christ God with grace divine. Hence grant that we too may abide by thy prayers in the church of the living God. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. O Xenia, thy meekness and humility were made manifest to all by thy trials. For thou didst bear ridicule and revilement, which Job like patience for Christ the great sufferer. Thus help us also by thy prayers to bear all things courageously for the Lord. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thy poor clothes were of two colors, red and green, and these colors of thyself were symbolic. For thou didst live all thy life as a martyr, and thou didst blossom forth virtues abundantly. Hence teach us all to live for Christ, that we too may rejoice in the age to come. For now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. The angels on on high with praises honor thee, O thou ever virgin, pure Theotokos. And we thy flock join with hymns of thanksgiving, for thou didst give birth to Christ who redeemed our race. We pray thee, Lady, be our guide. Lead us all to the kingdom of Christ our God. Preserve and save, O blessed Son, you thy lowly servants who with hymns now honor thee, thee on, on this thy joyous feast. <clears throat> For thou hast found great boldness with Christ, God our Savior. O spotless one, who inexpressibly in the last days didst by a word bring forth the word, do thou make request of him as one who hath motherly boldness. And have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for Archbishop and Father Savas, for all of our brotherhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and orthodox Christians who dwell and sojourn in the city, the prisoners and benefactors of this holy temple, and all that serve, chant, labor, and gather herein, and for the servants of God, Cassini, Jessica, Mark, and Sarah, Photius, and Athena, Evan, Christina, Theodore, Connor, Peter, and Stephen, and for all those here present, and for all those who have asked us to pray for them, and for the forgiveness of their every transgression, both voluntary and involuntary. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For a merciful and member friending God art thou, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
mine eyes had been opened to behold those things on high. Thou didst straightway seek to please thy Saviour who called thee, and didst go forth as if to the desert like Moses of old, where thou didst struggle great, and thou, thou was purified, and was sent back by the Lord to Petersburg, thy city, to lead all sinners to salvation. Hence lead us also to Christ, O wonder worker, for we trust in thee. Legatos. From my youth to many passions wage war against me, but do thou thyself defend and save me, O my Savior. From my youth to many passions war against me, but do thou defend. But do thou thyself defend, and save me, O my Saviour. Ye haters of Zion shall be shamed by the Lord, for like that grass in the fire shall ye be withered. Ye haters of Zion shall be shamed by the Lord, for like I grass by the fire shall ye be withered. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit every soul is quickened, and through cleansing is exalted and made radiant by the triple unity in a hidden sacred manner. For now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. By the Holy Spirit, the streams of grace gush forth, watering all of the creation for the begetting of life. Wondrous is God in his saints, even the God of Israel. Wondrous is God in his saints, even the God of Israel. In congregations, bless ye God, the Lord from the wellspring of Israel. Wondrous is God in his saints, even the God of Israel. Let us pray to the Lord our God, that we may be found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Wisdom, arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And to thy spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. The Lord spake this parable. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps, and the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to, set to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Amen, I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. Son and the Holy Spirit, 
by the intercessions of thy saint, O merciful one, blot out the multitude of mine offenses, both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By the intercessions of the Theotokos, O merciful one, blot out the multitude of my offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, blot out my transgression. In those parts of Petersburg, where all the poor had their dwellings, there, O Xenia, thou didst live as a fool for Christ estranged from the world for God, wearing away the flesh that the Holy Spirit might abide in thee, thus purified. Hence God's love molded thee to be like himself, most compassionate. And like a candle thou didst shine on the churches faithful and all the world, working many wonders and healings for all who ran to thee. Therefore we also now ask of thee, save us by thy prayers, O sin. Save, O God, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Visit thy world with mercy and compassion. Exalt thee, horn of Orthodox Christians, and send down upon us thy rich mercies. By the intercessions of our all immaculate Lady Theotokos, never Virgin Mary, by the power of the honored and life-giving cross, by the protection of the venerable and corporeal heavenly powers, by the supplications of the venerable, glorious prophet, forerunner, and John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all-famed apostles, of our Father among the saints, the great hierarchs, and universal teachers, Basil the great, Gregory the theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the almsgiver, patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Archbishop of Myra, and spirit on Bishop Trimothos, the wonder workers of the holy, glorious, great martyrs, George, the trophy bearer, Demetrios, the mirth streaming, Theodore, the Tyro, and Theodore, the commander, and Minos, the wonder worker of the sacred martyrs, Caralambos, Leftherios, of the holy, glorious, triumphantly victorious martyrs, of our righteous and God bearing fathers, of our holy mother, Xenia, of St. Petersburg, the fool for Christ's sake, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of the holy higher martyr Phocas of Sinope, and Bishop, the bishop and wonder worker, the holy martyr Phocas, the gardener of Sinope, and the holy martyrs Isaac and Martin, whose memories we commemorate today, and of all thy saints, we beseech thee, thou only greatly merciful God, hearken unto us sinners who pray unto thee, and have mercy on us. By the mercy and compassion, love for man of thy only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Saint of God, intercede in our behalf, emulating Saint Andrew. Blessed Senya was homeless by choice for Christ our God. And in all different seasons, she wandered as a pilgrim, passing all of her life outdoors, 
and by her prayers to the Lord, she helped the poor and needy. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. Watch and pray without ceasing. Were the words of our Savior and fall the mouth of Christ. These words have been fulfilled by the ever watchful Xenia, whose pure heart was aflame with prayer, and who became for her Lord a cleanse and precious vessel. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. By the gifts of the Spirit, meekness, patience, clairvoyance, and prayer and prophecy, sing Senya labored greatly in Christ the Savior's vineyard and brought forth fruit a hundredfold. For her great joy was to do the will of God in all things. For now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. When the enemy's arrows seek to grievously wound us in heart and mind through sin, come quickly, made and quench them. For thou art our defender that doth scatter the devil's hordes. Therefore we all run to thee, O holy Theotokos. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. The greatest struggle and highest form of perfection is to be a fool for Christ our Savior. And in this rare calling, thou didst serve God with great zeal. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf. At night, at, at night without fail, in open fields thou didst labor, praying to the Lord until the day dawn. Teach us also, Xenia, to pray with perseverance. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as thou didst labor to carry bricks for those workmen who for the, who for the repose built the small lands church. So come now and help us and build us up in spirit. For now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. The roots of Jesse, this blossom forth the all-pure one, Mary for whose fruit, from whom from whose womb came forth the Savior, Christ the sacred flower of life and incorruption. Most rightly we confess thee as our God's birth giver, we who through thee have been saved, O thou virgin most pure, with choirs of bodiless angels, thee do we magnify. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, by prayer and great clairvoyance, thou, O blessed Xenia, to save the faithful from death and their trials in life, and number all of us also among those saved by thee. O saint of God, intercede in our behalf, we venerate thy relics, marvel at thy wonders, and glorify thee with hymns, O thou struggler up for Christ. For thou abidest, O Xenia, in everlasting life. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. From sin and its allurements, Satan's poison honey, do thou preserve us all, all, do thou preserve us, O Saint, all the days of our life, that we may taste that true sweetness with thee in paradise. Both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. We pray thee, Theotokos, grant us true repentance, that in the day of the Lord we may stand with the saved. For we all trust in thy goodness, O Holy Bride of God. O blameless one and the mother of our God, you are honored more than the cherubim, 
and you have more glory when compared to the seraphim. You without corruption did bear God the Logos. You are the Theotokos, you do we magnify. Having labored greatly upon the earth as a fool for Christ God, thou didst help all who turn to thee. Thus, O blessed Xenia, we also now entreat thee. Be our divine protector, for we all trust in thee. Like one body, list out in strife for Christ in a mortal body. For thy soul, swords you have in sight, where now thou abidest with all the saints in glory. O ever blessed Xenia, help of the Orthodox. Here is all of me, thou wouldst say with joy to thy friends who marveled at thy strict and non-possessiveness. For thou didst possess God by grace, and he preserved thee through his all-holy spirit since thou hast put on Christ. Like a fragrant flower in paradise, thou, O blessed Xenia, dost send forth breezes of God's grace. To those who entreat thee with faith and love in trials, and thou dost change their sorrows into the joy of Christ. She who all her life wore old tattered rags, now is clothed with glory as a daughter of our great King. And she who was homeless, for Christ the Lord now dwelleth, in God's eternal mansions, where she doth pray for all. Just as thou didst save those who bought and sold from consuming honey, thou wast spoiled and inedible, that was spoiled and inedible. So be thou our safeguard in trials and temptations, and keep us on the straight path of Christ, O righteous one. For a distant road I am gathering, didst thou say, O Xenia, having foreknown thy blessed repose. Hence, while thou wast sitting in prayer beneath a great tree, thy soul went forth to dwell near Christ God, the tree of life. Gabriel announces, rejoice with fear, crying out glad tidings to the Virgin Maria. Salvation strange and wondrous conceived is the Creator within the Virgin's pure womb, saving that which she made. With a host of angels, God's messengers, with Spirit, both now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. 
Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and into the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy on us, for lacking as we are in all defense. This supplication do we sinners offer unto thee as our master. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy on us, for in thee we have placed all our hope. Be not wroth with us greatly, nor do thou remember our iniquities. But look upon us now even, since thou art compassionate, and do thou redeem us from our enemies. For thou art our God, and we are thy people, all the works of your hands, and upon thy name have we called. Both now and forever, and to the ages of ages, amen. The doors of caring do now open unto us, O most blessed Theotokos, so that hoping in you we shall not fail, through you we may be delivered from adversities. For you are the salvation of the Christian faith. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your love, we pray to you, hear us, and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for Archbishop and Father Savas and all the clergy and laity in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, forgiveness, and remission of the sins of the servants of God, all pious and Orthodox Christians. Those who reside and visit in the city, the members, council members, contributors, and benefactors of this holy church. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the servants of God. Marina, Natalia, Dimitri, Lani, Arigiro, Vasiliki, Michael, Eleni, Patrick, Keaton, Katerina, Karalamos, Nicteria, Sophia, George, Antonia, Zoe, Olga, Ken, James, Despina, Diana, Again, we pray for the safekeeping of this holy church in the city and of all cities and towns from pestilence, famine, earthquake, flood, fire, and the sword, from invasion of enemies, civil war, and unforeseen death. For his mercy, they will be kind to entreat as our good God, who loves all people, and that he may turn away and scatter wrath and disease that moves against us and deliver us from his impending justified chastisement and have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Μεθάει πέρ του Ισακού σε κύριον των Θεών φωνή τη Δέση Μόν των Αμαρτωλών και λέει σε ημά. Κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον, κύριε Λέισον. Κύριε 
merciful God, our Savior, the hope of all the ends of the earth and of those who are far off upon the sea, and show compassion on us who master our many sins, and have mercy upon us. For you are a merciful and loving God, and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Glory to you, God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of your all-pure and blameless Holy Mother, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, of the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, of the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joey Kim and Anna, of the holy, higher martyr, Phokas of Sinop, the bishop and wonder worker, and the holy martyr, Phokas, the gardener of Sinop, and of the holy martyrs Isaac and Martin, whose memories you commemorate today, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us as a good and loving God. Shield with zeal, Sir Christ the Lord, who called her to that great struggle. And in all of Petersburg, she helped all in their every need, as there burned within her heart love for God and her fellow man. And to her intercessor we cry out, Rejoice in the Lord, O blessed Xenia. Xenia, with the faithful praise thy name, with the host of angels in heaven. On this thy radiant feast, for they were astonished at thy wondrous way of life. As a stranger and fool for Christ, and we to now thank thee for thy love and benefactions and great miracles shown to us the wretched and sinful who now with repentance implore thee lead us all from darkness to the light of Christ. hopes are placed before you, most holy one, mother of our God, guard me with care within your sheltered arms. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the blessing and protection of the Holy Trinity be with all of you. Amen. And may the prayers of St. Xenia be with all of you and those who are lifted up in prayer uh, this evening. Uh, tomorrow evening, uh, there will be an akathist to our Lord Jesus Christ at 6 o'clock. Um, and then the book study in the Apostolic Church Fathers, led by George Wise, um, following the akathist service. Uh, Friday morning, we'll have a baraklasis to the Theotokos, followed by the Greek study um, on the elders and saints of our church and also a women's study, um, Water of Wisdom, led by Nikki Sullivan at the same time, uh, Friday after the Baraklasis. Uh, Saturday, Isaac and I will be traveling to Pittsburgh for the clergy lady meetings in our metropolis. Uh, so we'll be having a lay Vespers Saturday without a priest, um, and there will be no Orthodoxy 101 class uh, Saturday. And God willing, uh, we'll be back uh, Sunday morning for Orthros and Liturgy.
Uh, please come forward at this time to venerate the icon of St. Xenia and to receive a blessing.